I don't mind saying I rolled out of bed and I rolled up Ooh, stretch my back and legs Well now, what did the younger me become? I make some coffee and a plan and I decide on oats and eggs Blow my cares away Prepares me for the things that come to this new video that will be whatever it will be I decided to take you with me on this day and maybe the weekend it's Thursday today and we'll see what happens if anything will happen but as you know mostly nothing will happen <laughs> just a lot of knitting and yeah welcome to this uh, channel if you're new here have you found your way my name is Melina and I'm 28 and I'm in my ninth month of pregnancy and yeah also hello to you if you have been here before if you keep coming back thank you for that you're all very much appreciated and yeah today in this video I think also these days we will do the last prep for the birth like we'll set up the birthing pool and see how it works how long it takes to fill it up with water and just have it up and it and it's ready because the birth will be any moment now and it's going to be at home as natural as possible and we are very much excited about it about meeting this baby and i wanted today also to show you what i'm knitting on because yeah give you some updates it's been since the podcast i haven't shown so much but not at all <laughs> But here at the moment I'm knitting on this baby blanket that I showed in my in my podcast. It's a huge it's like three of these triangles that I'm knitting on. You always do decreases in one side so it goes like it's a triangle. <laughs> and then you'll pick up stitches on this this um side, this edge here for the next triangle and then do that same again and then it will become four tri triangles it's a free pattern from Pearl Soho called Four Corners maybe and I'm always holding two yarn together right now it's these two alpaca yarns that I'm just it's just changing all through the throughout it's a little bit Waldorf um, colors and um, I'm knitting that and then I I wanted to try something new I cast it on I wanted to if you watched that video with where I'm like showing my stash of projects that I don't that I haven't worked on like my forgotten whips then you know about a brown bralette that I had knitted but this is here I wound, winded it up into this ball because it wasn't fitting me at all. I tried it on and it was too tight. It was just knitted in a way too tight gauge and I don't know what I was thinking. So here is the yarn and it's some really lovely yarn. It's like 
knitting for olives um, compatible cashmere so it's like a really pricey it was pricey and it was very fine because it's cashmere and so I need to do something with it that I can use and I need some kind of scarf for the summer but I don't know if it's too thin I'm holding them already double because it's really thin yarn okay my camera can't focus and then I'm knitting some new socks actually in the last podcast I was talking about some blue socks and I ripped them back and I totally started over and created some other socks where I used the um, Petit Knits Sunday pattern Sunday socks pattern and just held that I held like four yarns together two strands of really thin silk mohair and two strands of a sock yarn on needle size 3.5 so it's really a nice dense sock that I wanted because the other one I was starting on if you saw it it was like just a normal sock yarn hold one on a needle size 2.5 and it's just I knit too loose my gauge is just too loose I can't get it tight so I decided on just to do this pattern that I know and I love and it works always and I am uh, but I started on another one for myself I made one <laughs> because now I wanted to try to make some socks one time also without the ripped the 2x2 two two ribbing as the Sunday socks has and just has a, have a plain straight sock that I can make some nice stripes so I just um, freestyle a little bit on that pattern and it turned out really well my first freestyle socks sock inspired by some different patterns it has this nice heel that my aunt um, taught me like this one you want you lift one off and you knit one so it's like a double knitting kind of um, hill flap yeah in this really nice wool rustic wool from Iceland it's like an Icelandic sock yarn and a normal sock yarn hold together and the stripes is some blue sock yarn that's thicker than normal like a left scrappy like doing the second one here that has been fun it's a weird time for me now because here it's almost spring it's March and it's spring and it's a weird time to start knitting socks <laughs> all winter I didn't really have a sock mojo but now it's on I think it's a good thing for having a baby to knit on socks instead of big projects so it's good to have some socks going on <laughs> check out this belly it's huge isn't it but it should be yeah Ninth, like I'm in the ninth month, so I guess perfect size. So I wanted to make a quiche tonight, and I have to prepare the dough. I want to make the dough before. And honestly, to be completely transparent, this morning I had some really nice breakfast, but halfway through my breakfast I had to run to the toilet, and it came back out. So, for me, in this pregnancy, it has been, I think, in the beginning of like the first trimester and the last trimester, I've been having that with puking and, but not in the middle and not much, so I'm really lucky, but, oh my god, it's so intense when you feel it come up and, and afterwards you feel fine, like I felt fine, it's not like I had, it's not that I'm sick now, it was just, too early at breakfast maybe. I don't know. Okay, under the dome. Garden. 
season again outside oh, it's so good slowly the spring is coming I think but now I'm gonna go make some coffee some decaf coffee and maybe bake the bake the pie the quiche for tonight and I was thinking of making something sweet too, bake a cake or something for the next days. Because we really like we really like to eat cake. <laughs> and it's easier to have it at home instead of always go and buy it somewhere. So I'm gonna maybe see if I can bake something. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say that I make some cake? Ooh. For the next days I thought of. I say yeah, but in the kitchen. <laughs> so I have to say. So the banana bread is done. It turned out to be a banana bread cake kind of thing. And um, yeah, I wanna, I'm gonna eat that, wait for the quiche to be finished. It's still in the oven. It turned out like a little bit of a thick, a thick cream that I put on. It's like eggs and vegan cream and some soy milk. It was just a little bit um, thick. But I will see how it goes. This mama is enjoying her return to leave. This is where this video will come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. And um sure to come back for another video if there will be another video in the next week but I don't know we don't know when the baby is coming we'll see that see how it goes but thank you so much for watching and thank you for the support as always I read every single comment and I will reply to it over time and thank you for being here mm, bye bye I was tempted